Mark Anthony Tierno here, author of Maldine, the Inspector Flatfoot series, and another series that's going to be coming up shortly, but that's news for, for uh, a different day. <coughs> Today the subject is, well, in, in a recent review of uh, well, the first couple of Maldine books, actually, one reviewer, of course, picks out Sabu as uh, the story protagonist. And he's an obvious choice because he writes the um, diary entries I use to uh, as one of my ways of moving the story along. <clears throat> but but here's the thing: who says a story has to have just a single protagonist? In the case of Maldin, yes, um, Sabu is one of the main characters there, but. Like a lot of my stories uh, uh, and, and other books as well, <clears throat> there are multiple main characters, multiple f protagonists in each f for their own reason. It, it's like if you were to go to Game of Thrones and you say who's a protagonist, I could give you a list of about six. Same in Molly. You, you, you have Sabu as the obvious one, and his friend Eldar. They're, they're both equally important to the story. Uh, they, they meet Sindar. But like any good soap opera, there are several other characters, only a few of which I'll mention. <coughs> there, there's even uh, at least one that you see briefly in the first book, and a lot more in the second book, who starts off looking like a secondary character, but becomes something more. Then there's the king, sort of a background character, <clears throat> but as the story develops over successive books, uh, he too has hit his uh, a moment to shine as a main protagonist. Then there's some of his kids. He's got like 14 kids. Um, most all of, nearly all of which start off as being minor, sort of one-off characters. But that's only because it takes a while to introduce, you know, a, a world that has like a couple hundred different characters. <clears throat> there are, both for the King's Kids and several other cases in Maldine, um, People that start off as secondary tertiary characters and, and come to their own as, as some of the main characters. So how many protagonists do, do, does Maldine really have? <clears throat> for, for the first section of the first book, I, I can really think of uh, at least three. As the story goes on, uh, I can think of a lot more. So it, I guess it goes to show you each person will get for, for, from the story maybe a, a slightly different thing. Uh, so far, one of the questions I ask people, you know, that 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 I can talk to personally, anytime they read the book, I ask who's your favorite character because there's a lot of them in there. So far, everyone has given me a different answer, which tells me I've written each of the characters equally well. Now, in my Inspector Flatfoot's. Uh, of stories, yes, that has one protagonist, um, Henry Jeffries Flatfoot, because it's all told from his own point of view. He, he's the actual narrator throughout the, the, the entire series of stories. <clears throat> but there, there are other. There, there's another set of uh, books I finished a while back, uh, which, which. which um, also has a series of uh, d different pr protagonists. I have my Cyberdon series, and this might be the first time you 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 you'll have heard me mentioning it. That that has an obvious uh, main character protagonist in the form of Black Jack Hannigan, because he's the poor and lucky schlep that that finds out that all the world's mythological creatures and everything all exist and they're all part of a biblical level conspiracy. But even in that one, there there's uh, a handful of others. Um, Black Jack ends up becoming hero too, uh, or, or true, but 
there are other characters in there uh, which, which end up having their, their, their own moment to shine as a hero, inclu and including at least one, maybe two of which uh, are sort of surprising in that regard. So, yeah, Maldine, Cyberdawn, you know, I, I never really followed the stated rules of anything, because that would be boring. You know, uh, one story must have one protagonist, and so on. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I just sort of made up my own r rules and went along. Basically, whatever works for the story, I will do. Whatever makes it sound more dramatic, more awe-inspiring, whatever brings the story to the next level, to um, other writers out there, an answer to a question probably bubbling around in your minds, um, yes, I'm self-taught. I learned to write by learning how to read. And I began taking notes probably when I was in about seventh grade, when I was about like 12 or 13 years old. Every time I read something, I'd just note in the back of my mind, hey, I like the way he did this. <clears throat> and so, Besides high school English, you know, that, that was it as, as far as that goes. I just observed and taught myself everything else that I currently do. Even in writing on the first Maldine book, when I came up with a way of improving something about a character, I went back and re-edited every other thing about that character that pertained to that. So that, that's why, you know, I, I came to, to Maldine being the way it is. It has multiple protagonists. It, it has multiple points of view. Sabu's diary is 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 one of the points of view, and and, and a very convenient one uh, that I use. But there are others too. Whatever works for the story. The one rule sort of I do have, and that of all the different points of view from all the different characters I have in there, you won't find one from Myra. There's always somebody else around. Anytime there's a scene of all in Myro. So you don't get in any background thoughts or anything on Myro, and that's on purpose. He's supposed to be a mysterious character uh, for, for each of the characters, so why not keep him just as mysterious to the reader? So, and, and that was actually noted in one review of uh, the first book. Someone noted that um, I didn't have any point of view for, for the big villain. And he thought that was a mistake, you know, an omission, but that was on purpose. Anyhow, that, that that's it for today's babbling, except to note one little announcement. I mentioned another series of mine, Cybermon. I am currently having the cover done up for the first book, because I'm going to take a chance and release uh, Cyber Dawn Beginnings, the first of, of the five book Cyber Dawn series. Um, I'm going to release it under my own label and cross my fingers and pray. Anyhow, that's it for now. This has been Mark Anthony Tierno, signing off.